I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm really happy with the decisions we made today. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Welcome back to another episode of Her Atlas. Today, we are visiting one of Japan's most famous pottery towns. Our first stop on the trip is Taineji Temple for Momijigari, which is autumn leaf hunting. To lunch at a local restaurant that's placed inside an old Japanese home. And finally, pottery shopping. Grab a seat, grab a friend, and enjoy your one-way ticket to the Japanese countryside. Welcome back to Her Atlas. My name is Caitlin. If you guys are new here, today I'm just on a little day trip with my friends exploring in autumn. Um, we are currently at a really beautiful temple I'm about to show you guys around and then we are going pottery shopping. We're specifically making this day trip to go to a town called Hagi, which is a pottery and Japanese ceramics village. I've been saving up for this trip and I'm in the mood to buy some really great pieces and I'm gonna take you guys with us. So let's go exploring. I love the sound of the rocks. Hunting under my shoes. Oh, they have like the little fortunes tied on the tree. Those are like wishes, right? Mm hmm. I think koi fish might be one of my favorite things. This is the Omikuji. It's a fortune. I'm gonna have, yeah, the little bell. I'm gonna have Linda help translate this though. <laughs> Can you help translate my fortune? I can't read, it's all in kanji. Kanji! Mm -hmm. How do we know if it's good or bad? Tie it to the tree just in case. I'm gonna just tie it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's usually super like deep. I know it says nashi, nashi to warui. Tano mane wa. I don't know. This is like super complicated hey, writing. If anybody's seeing this and can help us translate, let us know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just gonna put it on the tree just in case. I didn't do as good of a job as other people, but I just tied it to the tree. It's so pretty. Autumn is slowly coming to an end and the crisp air from this day is a sure sign that winter is coming. The leaves are slowly falling and fading to the ground. And as sad as I am to see the season end, one of the things I love most about seasons is that it's a way to push us through the year. Like many of you, 2020 has been interesting and hard. Time feels like it's stopped, but it's also gone by really fast. Time isn't really something you can feel, but seasons you can. When seasons come and go, it's a reminder that change is coming. And change is inevitable. Wow, this is so cool. I wonder what kind of trees these are. The swaying. Yeah, swaying. Wow. 
It looks like they're dancing. These little guys are actually deities that help protect children who've passed away or unborn babies. They help protect them because they basically live an afterlife of suffering for the pain that they cause their parents. They're so beautiful. White Fox Shrine. This is the name of the shrine, mm. and this is whatever it's um, like kind of protecting you. So some of them are usually for like traveling yeah, yeah, yeah. or um, like, driving know. on the road or children or just like good luck and things like that. So you can like gift them to people. Mm. I didn't bring my temple book, but you can go to all the temples and collect these little temple sheets or stamps. And then I will be putting it in my temple book to collect them. That is a bright red tree. Wow. The yellow makes it even look more red. Yeah. Wow. That is incredible. One of my favorite moments from today was this actual moment. We all took turns taking photos of each other, being the model, and then it was always somebody's job to throw leaves at the person that was being photographed. Honestly, it was so much fun. We were crying, we were laughing so hard. We just had so much fun on this day. And I'm so glad that I bring my camera on things like this because they're just like my little diaries and memories. And I know one day when we all move and go our separate ways, I'll be able to look back on these videos and remember how special my friendships were. So I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. We just spent far too long taking photos, but we had so much fun. This temple is absolutely beautiful. And now we're going to drive about half an hour until we get to Hagi, which is where they sell all the pottery, and we're gonna go shopping. Today is not uh, my best bang day. Let's just leave it at that. See you guys when we get there. Oh, well, this is such a beautiful restaurant. So we can go one at a time to the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Once we got to Hagi, we realized how hungry we were. We had actually started our day at 6 a.m. So this was about a two to two and a half hour drive for us. This restaurant is called Hotoreite and Linda had found it ahead of time before we got here. It's in this beautiful old Japanese house and in the center of it is a beautiful Japanese garden which honestly if we have to wait for a table there are worse possible places we could have been sent.
like the pottery. Yeah. It's pretty much all I've seen since we left. <laughs> yeah, I love. Yeah, and it has the dark clay mm -hmm. underneath. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh. 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 So yours has radish and ponzu sauce. Radish and ponzu. Okay, so this is the ham waigu hamburger. Like you, hamburger. And then you have pork cutlets. Pork cutlet. Oh, that looks so good. You got the wagyu beef too, but you got teriyaki sauce. Mmm. I can see the little orange peels in there. Yeah. It's so good. I like it with the orange. That looks like a good coffee. You can tell that's like good coffee. You know, when like the color's just bright. <laughs> I think somebody grabbed it. Okay. Oh, these are so beautiful. I love these. I love these too. Look at the little like chandelier thing. It's so cute. We finished lunch and now we're actually making it to go pottery shopping and we found our first place. So now we can go see the pottery. This one just says gallery outside. Oh, so these must be some that are just out drying before they're gonna glaze them. I love the funky looking bowls. Like, too. look at like these ones. Yeah. The spout. Yeah. The vases inside. Oh, look. could you imagine being able to take one of those with you? I wonder why this is sitting on top of them. I don't know. Interesting. Look at how cool the texture is. Yeah. And the bottom of In these the bottom. ones. I yeah. bet that makes them look so cool after glazing. But yeah, you can still see they're kind of wet. The potter at this shop makes his own clay, which I just find absolutely amazing. And it comes out with this really cool texture, which comes from local sand. I've never seen anything like it, so I had to get a few pieces. So I'm getting this one, which has like a little spout. And then I'm getting this teapot for my husband. Mm, I love these. Yeah, okay. I'm happy. It's like the tiniest little tanuki. So cute. Now, my friends and I didn't just rent a car and drive two hours just to go any kind of pottery shopping. We are in Hagi. If you mention Hagi to anyone in Japan, they'll know exactly why you're here. Hagiyaki Pottery. Hagiyaki Pottery is one of the most famous pottery types in Japan. Hagiyaki flourished during the Edo period, which was early 1600s to the mid 1800s, and was highly prized as tea wares for the tea ceremony. Like 1400 US dollars? 1900 US dollars? What makes this pottery the most special and unique is that the color changes over time with each use. Because the pottery tends to be on the more porous side, the tea residuals enter the minuscule openings on its surface, changing the color. This characteristic is still highly appreciated by tea enthusiasts, and it makes hagiyaki pottery popular to this day. Arigato. So the second pottery store that we went into was really expensive, um, like hundreds of dollars per piece up to the thousand dollar range. But we still looked because it's super, super beautiful pottery. It's like looking at art. And when you look at pottery and ceramics, you want to like pick it up, 
see how it feels in your hands look at the bottom of it and really pay attention to the details because the details in pottery is what makes them unique and special and sometimes they just call to you that way mr tanuki are we supposed to rub them for good luck <laughs> like a buddhist belly <laughs> <laughs> I love the big vases. You can just buy these and quench your project. <gasps> yes, this is what I need. So I don't have to make my little ones. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. The little turtles. Oh, they have a lot of the little teapots. Mm -hmm. um, they only, so it's the same as our sensei because the wood is so expensive now for those mm -hmm. um, that they only do it once a year. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are done and not. And they call it Noborigama, so it's climbing a kiln because mm -hmm. it, it's, it goes up, or like up a hill or something, the way they design it. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's going up. So the the different colors based on where they were at in the kiln. Oh. Yeah, so closer to the, f the fire, oh. the darker. Yeah. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Let me see. Their little faces? No, I think that's no, just the glaze. That's just the glaze. Oh. Yeah. I gotta see. They always turn out different. <gasps> no, it's the same. Hmm? Is it a finch? Is it? Okay, now we need Linda. <laughs> Is it a bear? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's an upside down bear. <gasps> That is so cute. So when it's in your cabinet upside down. Ah, Buchi Kawaii. Panda. Panda. I love, love these. Did you see these? I'm trying to decide if I should do it. This is our third stop today. These are so pretty. Look at this green. Look at the center. I need yeah, some light. That's what I'm looking for. Wow. Pretty. This is the most stunning color turquoise I may have ever seen. I like this blue. Wow, this camera's not even picking it up properly. How do I get this in some sunlight? I think we're going to be in danger at this one. I know because the prices are really reasonable too. I'm like, what do I need? Oh, wow. These are interesting too. Is this dirty or like? Oh, it's kind of matte. It'd be really pretty with like a tomato salad. Right? The contrast of the red like and the blue. And red tomato salad. Yeah. I like these plates. They gave you guys some juice. No, no, you're always sipping on some right, juice. Ah, I want a treat and some sweets. <gasps> what kind of juice is it? Look! Oh, these look little for incense. Cat cups. I sit like this. I'm gonna get this one. Interesting. Cool shape. Hi. Insta. To YouTube. YouTube. So she te. Your store. Okay. 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 Hi. Okay. This is all Gashudo. 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 Facebook. Gashudo. Gashudo. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Bye bye. Show us your shopping bags, ladies. Oh. <laughs>
we basically just parked the car and now we're just walking roaming the streets looking for pottery shops just popping in and out of all of them it's super nice so this is shop number four. Oh wow this is huge wow Yeah, this one was pretty. That one was really pretty. I like that one. Not too long ago, we were talking about seasons coming and going and change and how change is inevitable. Have you guys heard of the term wabi sabi? Wabi sabi is a Japanese philosophy of embracing imperfectionism. Wabi Sabi stretches to everything, from the aesthetic, to temples, to classic gardens, and to ceramics. Wabi Sabi is the beauty of things imperfect, impermanent, and incomplete. When you can see the beauty in seasons changing, that is Wabi Sabi. In many Western cultures, we seek perfection and becoming monumental and grand. This is the opposite of that. Wabi Sabi is things with character. Wabi Sabi is when things are not perfect. And Wabi Sabi is about embracing those and loving them because of that. Which kind of makes me like it even more. <laughs> That just made me fall in love with that piece. I got this beautiful white and burgundy serving plate. I thought the way that the glaze ran in the plate was so beautiful. It actually almost has a little bit of a seafoam blue color to it. This one was about 35 US dollars. I did get the paint splattered cup. I think that it is just so so cool and you can see that there's different tones in the texture of the clay so earlier in the video linda was explaining that there's a kiln that's leveled and depending on how close this is burned in the kiln will decipher the different colors on it so i think that that's really cool and there's a clear glaze inside and yeah i just really really love this print they were about 25 US dollars each. I still, I've asked her like seven <laughs> times what yeah, these fruit right. are and I cannot remember. I don't think it's Mekon. Maybe it's Yuzu, I have no idea. Okay, this is our last pottery stop of the day. Linda-san was so nice and called because they were gonna close and they stayed open for us to, to arrive. Another tanuki. Oh, konbanma. <laughs> How cute is this? It's a bread plate pan. So it's pottery bread plate. And then they have like little bread chopstick holders. Wow, these are so beautiful. And they have a whole other room. I love like the gray ones. Yeah, these are cool. Okay, I'm probably definitely. Probably definitely. <laughs> How do you just oh, say yes? Definitely just gonna get this. These are cool shapes. Like curry? Yeah. Curry plate. And then I love these bowls. Came in ready, and now I'm stressed because I can't decide on which plates. We like these ones. We like the blue ones. We like the mismatched colors. I'm trying to decide between this. It's rather stressful. I feel the pressure. I'll do like a little his and hers situation. Maybe, we'll see. These, which don't feel as great in the hands and they're smaller. Right, or the wonky ones, which we're kind of into. 
I'm into the wonky. Yeah, I think we're gonna go wonky. Eat on. Yeah, I love eating on this okay. okay. So now I'm gonna get these. They remind me of little jelly beans. <laughs> This is all the pottery we bought. Oh my god. This is amazing. I'm so proud of us. I don't I don't know what I was expecting, but I'm really happy with the decisions we made today. I forgot to mention to you guys is that I actually take Japanese pottery lessons. I've been taking them for about a year, so I have a really, really strong appreciation for the craft and the art. I started taking pottery lessons here in Japan, and I have a vlog coming out soon all about my Japanese pottery sensei. He's absolutely amazing, and it's because of him that I'm so interested in Japanese ceramics. Something that I love about pottery and ceramics is that whenever I pull them out and use them, it's like picking up a memory. So I know that when I pick up these pieces that I'm purchasing today, I will remember this day. I'll remember who I was with, the experiences I had, and that's why I think that they're so special. If you guys like videos like this, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and a like, and I will see you guys next time. Shabbat See you later.